What is the nature of reality? This was a question much debated between Niels Bohr and Albert Einstein during the latter half of the 20th century, who couldn't agree over one interpretation of quantum mechanics. You know, the weird and bewildering world where cats can be both dead and alive, where particles can exist in two places at once, and where fate is dictated by chance. My unsung hero, John Stuart Bell, was essentially able to answer that question. The debate goes back to the start of the Copenhagen interpretation, which suggested that physical systems only have probabilities rather than specific properties until they're measured. To Bohr, electrons are like the blurred disk of a rotating fan, who only exist in a particular location when you intervene and touch the fan, bringing it to a stop. It is as if, when you close your eyes, a particle occupies all possible positions, that there is no solid reality, but rather the probability of it. Einstein hated this with every fiber of his being. In 1935, he thought he had found a fatal flaw in the interpretation, featuring a property called entanglement, which violated the theory of special relativity according to him. This stated that if a particle was black, the other entangled particle necessarily had to be white, as if they could somehow communicate through space-time faster than light. So, who was right? Does reality only exist by the act of looking, as Bohr suggested, or is reality objective and fixed from the very beginning, as Einstein argued? As war rolled across the world in the late 1930s, the battle to understand reality temporarily came to a stop. That is, until John Bell took matters into his own hands. As a theoretical physicist at CERN, he came up with an experiment that would give different results in a world where particles can talk faster than light and in one where they couldn't. Something summed up by one single mathematical inequation. The result? Particles do communicate faster than light. This is absolute proof that Einstein was wrong and Bohr was right. At the fundamental quantum level, Bell showed that reality is truly unknowable. So, next time you lay under the sky contemplating highly philosophical questions, think of my unsung hero, John Stuart Bell, who really revolutionized our understanding of reality.